So let's start, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor for me to come to Iceland. This is the first time for me to attend FinFest. It's really fabulous and awful. <laughs> yeah, I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to the uh, host CCP for their earnest invitation and gracious hospitality we have received. Now, please uh, allow me to introduce myself. Um, just, uh, I, told, I told you that my name is Ray, I come from China, and my team and I are in charge of the operation of EVE in another server called Serenity in China, and I'm the project manager of Serenity. And as you know, Tranquility is totally operated by CCP, while all Serenity is operated by Tiancity, which is my company. I suppose some of you have heard the name of Serenity because there have uh, been some reports about Serenity in Tranquility Forum. And today my topic is even China. I will give a brief introduction about Serenity. Okay, so there will be five parts in this presentation. And the first one is an introduction of TNCT, which you are unfamiliar with. Uh, through this part, you can know more about it. And uh, secondly, it is about EVE operation in China. You can know more about what we have done uh, for EVE in China in this part. And the third part is the basic fake data of serenity. Uh, believe me, this is the first time we, we show this to the public. And the, the fourth part is about Chinese players. I will, uh, I will introduce some very interesting uh, Chinese players to you in this part. And in the last part, there will be a um, Q&A part. And you could ask some questions in this part. Okay, so let's start. The first part is about Tiancity. Tiancity is located in, in Shanghai in China. This is my, uh, my company. And it is founded, it was founded in 2004 and with over uh, 400 million registered users. Tencity is operating 10 online games and it is one of top 10 game operators in China. Its business covers a wide range including desktop game, web game and mobile game. Okay, so this is the second part. It's, very, it's more interesting than the first part actually. Okay. So this, this actually our work for EVE operation in China includes promotion, partnership, data analysts, commercialization, new player guide, holding online events, establishing official websites and so on. I will show you several highlights of our work. The first one is about TV program. Firstly, we in, actually we inserted uh, EVE elements into a military program of CCTV, and this show was very successful. CCTV is a state-owned TV channel, and it is the biggest one in China. Through this show, we'll let more people know about EVE and successfully established, uh, sorry, established a high-end brand image of EVE. All the players were very excited when they saw this show broadcast on CCTV. Uh, I would like to show you a short video of this, uh, however, I'm sorry this video has not been dubbed into English because it broadcasts only in China. I guess you know from in this show, we use uh, inserted, uh, the okay. just talking about EU, uh, elements now. You can see there is a, a mod, model ship on the table. It's very clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this man who is talking now is a general in China, in, in China and he's very famous in the, uh, in the military fence. 
you can see he's talking about uh, the, uh, whether this, this kind of ship could fly in the space. Okay, so let's stop here. Mm. And the second part is the it's second part is, uh, is game, collect, uh, game car collection. Uh, a set of T3 battle cruisers from each race will use the 3D painting technology. So you can see the different size uh, of the ship if you look at the car from dif different angles. Uh, this was very well received by our players as it, it went on sale to public. On the sales venue, one player even bought more than uh, 50 sets at a time. And luckily, Apple brought some of from China for you guys, and I will give it to you as a present later. Okay. <laughs> Although it is a pity that the cash points, uh, points on the card can only be used in Serenity, not for TQ. <laughs> so, however, I, st I still think it is quite special collectible of Eve. Okay. Yeah. In addition, uh, in China, we've been marketing Eve with many brands, such as Asus, a famous PC hard producer, and NVIDIA. This picture comes from the player event supported by Asus and NVIDIA. Besides, I will show you something cool. And this is the merchandise, what we, we, what we made in China. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the Eve mouse mat. And... Eve Lighter, yeah, this one is Eve Chess. Yeah, it's cool. I think so. So, so many Chinese players love it. Her is so expensive. So, and this is what we have done for for China for China uh, for Eve in China, and the third part, I think you will be uh, very interesting for this. Interested in this is about spe specific data of serenity. And let's see. Actually, Serenity was opened on June the 12th, 2006. Till now, it has been live for over six years. However, it is uh, a little, it's not older than uh, Tranquility. Uh, and to be precious, it's about two, 2,511 days. And this part, we can see over 13 million players has locked in Serenity, and however, 98% of them are male, and just 2% of them are female. I think this is very similar to Tranquility, is it? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> oh, really? So female is a kind of uh, scarce resource for both of them. <laughs> okay, and this is the age distribu distribution of the, uh, Chinese players in Serenity. We can see that most players are from uh, 18 to 29 years old. However, it is about uh, three or four years older than uh, other games operated in China. And this one is player distribution in China. This is the map of China. Uh, I don't know whether you are familiar with it. And there are uh, about 34 administ administrative regions in China the province which has the most EU players are uh, actually Jiangsu, Guangdong, uh, Shanghai, Zhejiang, Sichuan, and Beijing. Uh, you don't know, uh, you don't need to remember them because it's, I think it's difficult for you guys. <laughs> yeah. However, I would like to say uh, that uh, players in this province and cities take over 40% for all EU players. Uh, and we can see all the top four places are big coastal places located in the east of China, the top four, and which is the most developed area in China. And this one is the ISK distribution. Of course, this data might not be accurate as some players may store his ISK in many different accounts. But still you can see that 155 players have over 100 billing ISK. So I want to ask, is there anyone who owned this kind of ISK over 100 billion? Oh. <laughs> oh, so you, you are billing there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, good. 
So, uh, and the next one is the plex depression, depreciation, okay. The number of the X line means the number of plex which players owned, and the Y line means the number of players in each range. So it's, it's just two uh, accounts owned over 100 plexes. Yeah. And I would like to show you the detail for cooperation in serenity. There are, they, there are over 19,000 active corporations and 163 active alliances and 216 player owned outposts. Okay. And this one is the alias map in serenity. I think this is very different from tranquility. And some of them have, even have Chinese names. They don't have English names. And I would, uh, I would state their Chinese names for respects. Okay, so this one, the PIBC, the largest aliens by area. And the, and the aliens in the right is, is the, who have the largest population, okay. So this is, and here is a ranking table of Titan. As you know, the number of core battleship in every alliance is a top military secret. So to protect myself from being hunted in Eve, I decided not to show their names, sorry, but use numbers here. But you still could not the exact number. Is, 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 is it smaller, much smaller than you, than your alien alliance, sorry, yeah? Yeah, because we have less people than you. Okay, so this is trend not in alliances. And the same, names are not displayed. And the next one is super carrier in uh, uh, alliances. Also, okay, so next one is carrier. Okay. Okay, so this part is over. And the next part is about Chinese players. Sorry. Chinese players. And uh, the Chinese players know that I will come to FanFest. So they, they take a video to say hi to you guys. So I will show you the videos. Let's see. Hi guys, 我是一介坎夫,我是任务党。我是人国之地,我是战士。我是二国语人,是个矿工。我是天朝学院,我是明威的战士。终点前两特约本地五号美女大家好,我是操作犀利动作敏捷的赤和。我是热口龙,我只是
<laughs> yes, I'm both. Yeah. The universe okay. is yours. Thank you, thank you. Actually, it is very difficult for us to find these female players, really. <laughs> really. It's hard for us. And sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. And next, I'd like to introduce three of our famous players in Serenity. Everyone even knows their names. And the first one is? The first one is Miss Yu. It is said she is the richest person in Serenity. People say that the server will lag for three seconds when she opens her wallet. Yeah, and, sh and she owns 30% of Plexis in Serenity. Yeah, yeah, she's so rich. And she's also an enthusiastic player, and she decorated her house according to the Captain Quarter. The, let's see, the mirror, the cabinet, and the screen, and the side table. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's very crazy. So, here's a question I want to know, is there anyone who did this uh, or similar things? No? No? Really? If there is anyone, I, I, I'd like to give uh, him a card collection, maybe. <laughs> but, it's, but he had told his story about this. So there is no. It's a pity. Okay. And next one. Uh, and next one, this guy is a big celebrity. Uh, uh, his character name is DF Will. And uh, uh, people call him the God Will. Everyone worship him for safety and good luck. And uh, par parents do not dare to rob him. Everyone avoid him. It's not because he's a good killer or a cooperation uh, leader. He's a sign of misfortune to prevent anything happens to you guys. So uh, I decided not to put his photos here. Actually, I didn't ask for it. If you want to know more about him, you can Google him. But I do not bear the consequence. Sorry. Yeah. And the next one. This guy is much more pleasant. He's a very hardworking young man. This is a paper sheet module. He finished all the making process like a module building, printing, and hard making by, all by his own. And here's a video about this process. Let's take a look. <laughs> He's really smart, and I like his. Uh, I like the uh, ship model. Yeah. So, okay. So that's all I'd like to talk about you in China. And the last part is Q and A. In order to answer your questions clearly and uh, to help you to know more about Serenity, I would like to ask my colleagues help to translate for you if necessary. And uh, I would like to say. 
the first nine persons who asked questions in this part can get this, uh, can get the game card collection. So do you have any questions? Okay, here, yeah, I see. Sorry. Is it available? Yep. Wait. Which one? Yeah. So what is the state of NullSec in China? We hear really ridiculous stories, and what is it really like? What's it really like? Yes, not, not filtered through 75 people. 75? We, we, get, uh, we have websites, obviously, and there's always these six-month year out of date of this is what it's like in NullSec. There's three three alliances and they just always, it, it doesn't seem realistic to us. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. <laughs> You ask, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, are you ask there are only uh, three or uh, just some uh, alliances in Serenity? People have said that. And we have solve maps sorry. for the Chinese server that show that. And they yeah. can't be accurate, can they? Do you have a solve map? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> No, not exactly. There are, uh, there are some alliances active there. <laughs> no, no. Your English is not better than me, actually. <laughs> so, so please don't translate for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, the card collection for, for the men over there, please. Have you given it to it to him? <laughs> the first person who this, asked this the questions. Uh, no, no, the guard. Sorry, I need to uh, say uh, say to him in Chinese. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So we like have Jita as a market hub. Is there a similar thing going on on Serenity or is it more distributed? Uh, yeah. Yes. N no, the marketing center is just a Gita uh, in Serenity, just oh. only one. Yeah, just the one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Please. Thank you. Please? Yeah, yes, yes. Are there, I would say, franchises of alliances from here? Like, are there, is there Goon Swarm on Chinese Eve? Is there <laughs> Pandemic <laughs> Legion on Chinese Eve? Are there you know, franchise versions of these alliances. Uh, actually, I guess no, because if you want to play in uh, Serenity, you firstly, you need an uh, identity card of China, and it is very difficult for the people from abro abroad. So this is the, ba uh, the barrier for the uh, foreigners, so I guess so. Well, I guess what I really meant was, are there players who played on, on the tranquility? Western, on tranquility, are there players yeah, who played on yeah, tranquility there are some. that went, went home to China and started a goon swarm on Chinese Eve or a, any of the major alliances that we have on tranquility? Are there copies, like duplicates, a franchise? Uh, you mean played in both tranquility and serenity? Well, yes, or 
Imit yes, uh, an imitation copy, a duplicate, uh, whatever you call it. Homage. <laughs> Homage. <laughs> <laughs> Are there goons in Chinese Eve? <laughs> What's a goon? I don't know. Uh, uh, actually, as I know, I think there's n no person who did this. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you have Chinese friends? Okay. So, do you have more questions? Okay, so. Will the two worlds ever collide? So, yes. Will the two worlds ever collide? Uh, what do you mean by two worlds? Uh, Chinese Eve, English Eve. It's like bond together. <laughs> Will there be a bridge? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how, how many game card have we left? Five. Five. Okay. Okay. Five more questions. Uh, I I need to give the opportunity to the to the guys over there. Thank you. Hi. Uh, I mean, in our version of Eve, there is a lot of scamming and uh, a lot of uh, evil persons in game. How is it in the Chinese community? Are the same number of backstabbing and scamming and pirates and everything? Yeah, the bad guy exists in Serenity too. Yeah, it's a similar, yeah. Thank you. Okay, next one. Uh, and next one is uh, this one. This one, yeah, yeah, it's you, it's you. In yeah. the middle. Could, could you speak Chinese? <laughs> 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 Never mind, it's a joke. You can Sorry, ask me okay. English. <laughs> okay. Um, we heard some rumors about EVE in China being free to play, and how do you pay for EVE in China? No, it's, it's not free in, in Serenity. Yeah, and uh, uh, the payment is, uh, the way of payment is, is, is the same with, with Tranquility. Oh, excellent yeah. Chinese. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Chinese yuan, uh, 50 yuan for 30 days. Yeah. If you are a newbie, you get a discount. Uh, do you satisfy with my answers? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, so this one. Have there ever been a um, big uh, capital fight on the server? <laughs> yes, they fight a lot in the north. Okay, thank you. Oh. Thank you. So there is there's a guy stand, standing there. Uh, we have uh, player tournaments, you know, with New Eden Open, uh, Alliance Tournament. Do they do that on the EVE client in China? Pardon? Uh, player tournaments. Alliance tournaments where, uh, you know, corporations or alliances will fight against each other in a, a CCP-sponsored event. Do they do that on the Chinese server at all? Yeah, we did once. And uh, yeah, yes, and uh, Chinese players hope to have this kind of event with tranquility. Yeah, and uh, yes, yes, with tranquility. And we were uh, we were discussing with CCP whether we could hold this kind of event, and maybe maybe in the future. 
I guess so. But I can't promise. Sorry. <laughs> uh, last question. The last question. Okay, really? It's, so, uh, this one? Okay, thank you. Uh, All right. Um, on tranquility, we see a lot of development in the wormhole systems. How is that in China? Is what they say. <laughs> Sorry, we are, we are discussing your questions. Oh, we need right. to make it clear. Um, all right, because so there are these the, wormhole systems, and over here they are very developed, and like we have maps and everything. How is that in China? Like, okay. do people even go there? Okay. So, give me a minute. Okay. Uh, once you, you uh, when people oh. find a wormhole, a uh, the the corporation the corporation he is in will uh, come into the horn and uh, take it as his own. But sometimes it is dangerous because if other people found him and he they all will be extinguished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, there's no card collection. So, <laughs> still, you want to ask questions in Chinese? Okay, great. Flex door chair. Flex door chair. Okay, that's a good question. Uh, uh, first, of all, I, I would like to translate for, for him. He, oh, sorry. You, you just speak in English for your questions. Oh, I forgot. Uh, the Plex is, uh, is about 60 RMB, and it is about 2.5 uh, billion ISK per, 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 uh, per Plex, yeah. Yeah, 2.5 billion. 2.5 billion. It's a little high, higher, yeah. Much higher, yeah. Please, please. Uh, 是您说, 因为我们运行了一段时间, uh, before Ten City uh, officially uh, uh, do the commercialization of Eve, we have three months of free-to-play time. So the uh, the X might be a little uh, different. Yeah. With actually, so there is um, actually I think more uh, ISK in Serenity than it should have, and we are considering. Uh, what kind of way sh should we take to solve this problem? And this is what I should focus on this one. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for your questions. So thank you for your questions. And you. uh, so do you want to ask? Okay, okay. What is like the price of either titanium in Serenity or what's the price of the battleship just to have an idea of, of the rough prices over there? Okay, I got it. Sorry, I, I, I don't know the exact number. Uh, maybe I will ask my colleague. Sorry, for, wait for a moment. Battleship is about uh, 200 million and And uh, it's uh, the mineral uh, goes up to twelve, but it falls down to eight recently. 
Francis. Yes, it's the same. Okay. So, is there any questions? No. Okay. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your enthusiasm. And uh, this is the first time for me to attend FanFest. Uh, I was really shocked by this kind, by you guys' enthusiasm, really. I would like to say uh, there is one game, the top one who has the most players in China is about a number, is about, uh, I guess, uh, let me see, uh, 200, uh, sorry, 2 billion, 2 billion, yeah, 2 billion players at peak time. Sorry, two million, two million players at peak time. <laughs> two million, yeah, at peak time. It is really a big players, yeah, but they even don't have this kind of event. So I was really shocked, and I learned a lot from this fan fest. Thanks for C thanks to CCP, and I will give a, a surprise for my Chinese you players. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's all.